good morning everyone i hope everyone can hear me okay good morning and good afternoon for people joining from different locations uh, we are so excited to be here with you on the very first session of pesa program and i really appreciate you taking time early morning saturday or maybe late afternoon in the saturday saturday and joining us and hopefully if you would enjoy the session just as we are starting i just wanted to know from people that from which part of the world you are joining i could see a lot of comments coming up so if you could let us know that hey what which location you are joining from so that we would know that hey who all is supporting us people from london india sydney australia wow that's nice bangalore and basically i am building up my list to go to places like which all places i have to be there so one which is interesting for me here is tokyo i haven't been there dubai i lived there canada i've been ukraine i haven't been there but i want to lots of people uk east midlands poland india bangalore germany ukraine nigeria philippines kuala lumpur dubai thank you so much everyone and i hope you would be enjoying the session uh, let me quickly get started here i not waste your time so that you could focus more on the content and more learn on the stuff i'll quickly talk about what this program is and i'll introduce my team also who is supporting me behind the scene and very actively participating in all the things and you probably know some of them but we will quickly get started and discuss about what this program is and then we'll keep moving forward so the concept of this program is what we call is BESA is about uh, helping people to become a solution architect so i'll i'll talk about what this program is and how it works we have put all the information into the faq pages and that would help you to understand how this program would unfold and what components would be discussed there was a question will this be recorded answer is yes we are recording it it would be live on twitch for one week and then it would be available on youtube so you do not you do not have to be present every time but we encourage it so if you miss it you should be able to get things rolling into the youtube channel and see these things here shouldn't be a problem at all so let's go ahead and see what this program is so probably everyone has seen this website i'll quickly bring it up again here so that we know what we are talking about here so this website is where we maintain some basics information about the program why we are looking for prerequisite like what we are expecting you to do we expect that you have some basic it knowledge that is good enough and if you feel that hey i am not sure whether i should join i would suggest join one or two session see how technically we go deep, deep into and see if you can cope up with that or not or let us know the feedback and we can see a different way to help you out but attend at least one or two session before calling it off like hey it is not my thing so we would encourage everyone to stick to us for one or two week at least and see how it goes probably it will develop interest it will give you some ideas and then you can take it forward who we are so that is a good point uh, we are group of amazonians we work for amazon but this program we are running in a personal capacity so it is not affiliated by aws and i'll quickly introduce my team wonderful people who are helping all of us in getting most of this so give me a minute i'll add all of them into this particular session so we have abhijit who should be joining on the camera in a minute then we have jamila we have james here and obviously prasad here so currently we are five here to help you out but yeah obviously there are more people behind the scene helping us with the post production helping with designing of the content testing that so there are a lot of people who are putting effort and with a single point agenda that we want to help as many people as we can so that you could bridge the gap of knowledge or maybe behavioral skill and become successful into your solution architecting journey and it's not just solution architecting i would say that we are focusing on the technical and behavioral part which can help you in any of the roles so hopefully everyone would get benefit from it okay i'll i'll let everyone introduce themselves let me start with me okay so my name is ashish and i am a technical trainer based in london office of aws been with aws from last four and a half years and i have done lot of technical training and delivering technical training is my passion i want to ensure that people understand technology in the easiest possible form and you would see that once we go with the session so that is about me i'll talk more about some of the other resources which can help you but let's go ahead with jamila 
Jamila, if you could introduce yourself so that people know about you. Cool. Um, thank you very much, Ashish. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining our uh, BESA program and the first session from all around the world. We're super excited to have you all here, and we hope you will benefit from the program as much as possible. Um, I'm Jamila. I'm a solutions architect at AWS. Um, I joined AWS two years and a little bit of, um, like we say in, in internally, two years, 10 days um, ago. Um, so I, I work... Um, um, I work across. Uh, I worked across different um, industries, different um, different teams. So um, I'm here to share my experience. Um, I know how I can I can support you um, um, to become a solutions architect or to land a job um, in big tech or any other companies that um, where your soft skills and technical skills will be needed. Um, cool. Thank you. I'm handing over to Prasad. Hello everyone, Prasad Rao. Uh, I have been with AWS for around three and a half years now, and my passion has been uh, mentoring a lot of people. You know, like uh, in uh, breaking that barrier of getting into the cloud, uh, whether you are starting your career or whether you are experienced person. Like it, it comes from my own journey. I started my career as a .NET developer and have been working on .NET developer applications, uh, but never dwelled into cloud. Till that time, I dwelled into cloud. I always thought it's very difficult, but once I started. You know, like uh, getting into it, I felt, yeah, you know, cloud makes things easy. So that's how the whole mentoring journey started uh, for everyone. Uh, from day job perspective, I'm a principal solutions architect here at AWS, mainly focusing on Microsoft workload. So in a unique position, helping customers migrate and modernize their Microsoft workloads onto AWS. And welcome all. Uh, uh, I am sure we all will be having great time for the next 12 weeks. And hopefully all of us will be learning from each other and it will help us to up-level our career. Thank you. Handing over to James. <clears throat> Thank you, Prasad. And good morning, everyone, wherever you are in the world, all over the world, it seems, which is awesome, wherever you're joining from. Um, I'm James Eastham. I'm what's called a senior cloud architect at AWS. So I actually work in the professional services part of AWS, which is slightly different to where Prasad and Jamila are. So I get a bit more hands-on actually building things for customers. Outside of my day job, my big area of interest is serverless um, and building things with serverless, particularly with .NET. So I do do a lot of work with Prasad around the Microsoft workloads. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this next 12 weeks and getting to know you all and seeing how you all develop over 12 weeks. So I look forward to it. Any questions that come up, drop them in the chat at all times. There's four of us here today to, to help Ashish and assist Ashish. So anything that comes up at all, please ask us. And Abhijit, over to you. Thank you, James. Good morning, good afternoon, all. Uh, I also work with AWS Professional Services. I'm part of uh, AWS a little more than one year. And I work as a engagement manager. I uh, primarily work with our external customer to help them for their uh, cloud migration and modernization journey, and typically look after project delivery management. And absolutely thrilled to be part of this BESA moment. So I am uh, going to be part of the BESA team and I'm also going to be the participant uh, since I'm also preparing for my uh, cloud certification as well. So yeah, uh, really uh, great to be here. And I'm handing it over back to Ashish. Thank you. Thanks, Abhijit. Abhijit, you should plan for the solution architect professional, not cloud architect, not the one. <laughs> the one. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead, Prasad. Same here, Ashish. Like Mike, uh, uh, Cloud professional one got expired uh, or going, mm -hmm. is going to get expired this year. So I need to, sometime this year, I need to renew it. And uh, I love hearing you and, you know, like uh, the sessions that you give, you know, like that. I, I feel honored to be with you all. And we hope that uh, people would learn from it. And one suggestion from our side is that if you feel any feedback can improve this whole session, feel free to give it. Don't be shy. We are very receptive to feedback and, and we, we want to improve it and to make sure that you get the best out of the time you are spending on the Saturday. And we want to see the efforts we are putting to materialize and you get successful. That is our biggest reward. So feel free to provide as many suggestions as you have. 
we don't promise that we may be implementing everything but yes we will try our best or at least give you a rational that hey why this is may not be possible or may be possible and we may dwell on that idea and come up with more suggestions and more ways to help you out so it's one channel we are trying to build we are trying to build a platform where people would be able to help each other and then maybe you got a better job opportunity somewhere or you know somebody is hiring so put that into the linkedin group make it live don't put like jokes kind of a thing because there are a lot of things like that on internet already but things which can help people in learning something or advancing their career please put them onto linkedin group let's build a community and let's help out each other so that we can all get benefited from it all right thank you now i'll i'll go back to my slide deck so that everyone knows that what we are going to discuss here and then we will come back so thanks everyone for uh, introducing yourself and now i would go ahead and talk about that what else we are trying to expect here now so you talked about what we talked about who and then the question comes that why we are doing it we do not have any hidden agenda here our intention is purely to help people we in our journey got helped by a lot of people like hey somebody has written a blog we read it and we understood things somebody has posted a youtube video we learned from it and we are trying to return the favor so no hidden agenda we are passionate about mentoring and we want to see a lot of people being successful that's why we are doing it we would do the live sessions every saturday 9 am gmt and some tools which can help you to get the most out of the session will be live sessions will be on twitch like you are right now then recorded videos will be on youtube so you should be able to see it again if the need be and revisit it it may take a little time in a week's time we will publish it on your youtube and if we talk about any resources like we give you a link or we share a powerpoint or we share a link for the lab we will put them into a resources page on to the besa website and linkedin would be our communication medium we don't want to spam people with lots of email so that's what we are trying to use the linkedin as a mechanism basic mechanism if you are involved you could look at the message follow up or comment on it and then can move forward now how we will do this thing we would be doing this thing in two stages stage 1 to 8 is purely purely on technical track and networking track and then hands on so this will be more covering your technical ground and then on the stage 2 which is 4 weeks we will talk about behavioral track like hey yes we know, now know technical how to prepare for interview what are the different methods to enhance your learning how to build your network how to be successful in your career journey so that would be coming up into the 4 weeks and we will plan to have some guest who would share their journey so telling the you how they got successful and probably you could also lean back on their experience to get started with this there is no cost for this program itself but if you experiment something in your aws account please be aware that there may be cost and we can't help you there so please be little disciplined enough in removing the resources once you are done with testing or verification of things so we will talk more on that as we move forward so this is basic information hopefully everyone is following along and some disclaimer it's always have, good to have disclaimer so that expectations are right this is not a job guarantee program we will try to help you out if there is a position available in aws once hiring freeze opens we would be happy to refer you but it is not a job guarantee program this is not a official aws program we are running it in a voluntary basis we are running it on a best effort basis whatever we share whatever we talk represent us as individual not our company as an employer in case we share something and let's say there is a conflicting information so best resource would be to check official documentation it would always have the latest updated information so in case you find conflicting information i said x and that is reference is y probably you should look for official documentation and we encourage you to talk to us on linkedin if you have any questions but this program is being run on a best effort basis so we will try to respond as much as we can in case we forgot to respond to you or it got lost somewhere just give it another nudge send us another message and we will be happy to help you out again shouldn't be a problem but don't feel that hey he is not responded let me not talk to him probably we got busy and that's why if we are uh, having some issues that's why we may not have responded but our, our our intention is to help as many people as we can thank you for so much for encouraging word everyone let's keep going and we will talk about what this agenda would look like so first we we will talk about technical track 
which will be 45 minutes. We already steal 15 minutes from that. We will take a short break after that and then I will go to networking track where we'll talk about very basic stuff because most of the time people struggle with networking like you come from development background or you come from let's say architecting background but networking may not be a forte so we will focus on that and then last 30 minutes we'll focus on some practical tips to help you get started and how it will keep moving forward so let's move forward